party people in the place to be um i wanted to do this video i actually recorded this video a few days ago but i was in my bonnet and everything i was looking all dusty but um i wanted to actually do this video the right way because i kind of like rushed it because i was so concerned about doing vlogmas which i am not doing you guys but i will have a lot of vlogs up for you guys but they're older vlogs that i just you know didn't put up yet but um I'm not doing vlogmas because I cannot force myself to create content. If it's not genuine, I will not do it. And um, I just rather not force myself to create content. Um, I don't really leave the house that much. And really, my days are just editing and doing schoolwork and stuff because I'm still in college. This is my last year. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, so I don't, I don't want to force myself to do content. But... There has been some really great things going on for me and I do want to talk about it real quick. But I need to set up lighting because I want to set the phone right here. But the lighting is just not it. So give me a minute. I hope this is okay. I'm kind of in the corner because um, the light is shining that way. So I don't want the camera to be towards the window because that is not good lighting. Um, my lipstick look okay? Yeah, look all right. Um i'm just so excited y'all i have to call my nerves before i start talking i have to call my nerves um okay so i have some topics to discuss and things are jumping off of my vanity that's how excited we all are in this room you know everything has energy we're all excited <laughs> but um Okay, so one, I am not doing Vlogmas like I stated before, but I will give you guys a lot of vlogs. I am trying to um, upload more and more vlogs as we um, go. It's just I've been a little busy and trying to get my mind together to figure out what all that I'm trying to do. Okay, so the first topic that I would like to touch on is that I was featured in a magazine called Voyage Baltimore um they reached out to me and they wanted to know about my story of you know how I got to where I am now and um what influenced me to even pursue what I'm doing so I did an interview with them so you guys can check it out I will have it in the link um not in the link I will have it in the description below you guys can click on the link and give it a view like um check it out read it give it a good read okay um my best friend Lexi, you guys may know her from my other channel, Diamond Dolls. You know, we share that channel together. Um, she said that it was a good read. She said that she was really interested in it. She said that she had got sad because at the end she wanted to read more, but there was nothing else to read. And she was just like, no, this is the end. And I'm like, wow, you know, it's surprising to hear her say that. Like, I'm just like, you really thought it was that good? <laughs> You know, um, but I did write it myself. Um, the magazine, they did go over it and proofread it and stuff. And they uh, just published it in the magazine. But I did write all of that myself. And um, I know that one of my professors, they had told me that I should go into journalism because they said that I'm really good at it. And, um, you know, a lot of people was just telling me that the article was really good. And I'm not sure if everybody knew that I kind of like wrote it myself, but um, I did. So go ahead and check it out, read it, um, tell me tell me what you think, and yeah, I'm just I'm so excited. It is words can't even come out my mouth right now because I'm still so excited about that. The magazine was published on December third, and um, December third is my aunt Crystal's birthday. May she rest in peace. And um, I talked about her in the magazine and it literally came out on her birthday so that was super exciting um yeah okay so i did want to give you guys a glimpse of the article this is what it looks like when you click on the link it says rising stars meet marissa combest and you know there's a picture of me and then you scroll that you scroll blah, blah, blah. i can't talk i can never talk i don't know what it is i don't know if i have a thick tongue or something i don't know what it is but i'm always stumbling on words um Okay, but yeah, as you scroll, this is the whole interview. And then they include my social media links. And there's just some pictures of, you know, things I've done. Like the Brent Fayez concert. Uh, just me looking all cutesy in my outfit. Um, you know, 
vlogs and stuff me looking cute seeing outfits you know all of that beautiful so like i said i am very thankful for this opportunity um it has been opening other doors for me so i'm so appreciative like i'm so happy for this super glad that um this opportunity came my way and i'm so thankful for anybody who maybe recommended me or um i don't know i'm just thankful for the people who are giving me a chance and really letting me tell my story and uh, show people what i'm made of but i am about to eat because i did not eat all day long so um i just want to close this video up um i just did another interview and this one was a zoom interview so i had to actually talk to someone like face to face and i was so nervous because if you know me um i do struggle with anxiety so i was nervous but you know i can't talk though so once the questions started rolling my mouth started doing this and i hope i made sense and uh i wasn't stumbling too hard i don't really remember stumbling over my words or anything i feel like i did really get out my point and my mom gave me advice she said just talk slow because i do tend to talk really fast sometimes i'll be like and that's probably why i stumble over my words a lot so during the interview i just tried to take my time and talk slow and get out what i had to say so um yeah and i don't really want to reveal too much like details about that situation until it comes out because you know you're supposed to move in silence you're not supposed to tell everybody everything but um, this interview really opened my eyes up to this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And, you know, to be a big influencer, you have to get over the anxiety and stuff. And um, it also made me realize that I have more people. Some, uh, blah, blah, blah. See, I can't talk. <laughs> it also made me realize that I have more people supporting me than I think. And um, I just appreciate every last one of you guys for supporting me and helping me along my journey. I love you all. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Rissa the Diva is out because she is hungry, okay? Uh, have a good day or night whenever you are watching. Love you all. Thanks for supporting.